walk over here, I notice there's an art museum that actually has an MC Escher exhibit, which is one of my favorite artists. So even if we don't go in when we get over there, I'll show you some of the examples of the art on the outside and you'll see probably why I like it. So right over here is the museum that has the MC Escher exhibit. And you can see the lighthouse we were just at. Looks like this whole section of the courtyard is completely unused for the museum, but that's pretty cool. Okay, this is a pretty good example of MC Escher. Right here. It will start at one pattern and then slowly morphs into something else using the same patterns, just slightly adjusting it each and every frame until it turns into something completely different. I love that. If you, this is just their display, and I think you'll get a good idea because see, even in between the insects, all of a sudden it starts to form a fish, little by little, more and more, and then the fish turns into a bird. Hello. Well, I might go in and see if they'll let me do any photography in here. If so, maybe I'll do the tour. I would love to see that in person. I love this one. Now these were actually wood cuts. He would chip away at the wood and then run ink along them and then press them into paper. Oh wow, this is the Tower of Babel. Look at all the detail in there. Oh my God, that is amazing. I got lucky this exhibit was supposed to end last month and they extended it. And that's the castle in the air. Now when I was in art school one of the things they pointed out was how he used vertical lines and the way he used his lines to create depth like if you see in there you can see all those horizontal lines and then the rain and everything and this one's called the drowned cathedral Look at all the lines. Isn't that incredible that he could do the cactus with the wood like that? All those little nicks in there would have taken. And if you look closely, they're not just little nicks, they're like in threes, bunches of threes. And he was doing all of this style right here in the 30s, early 30s.
Oh, look at that. That's Trajan's Column. We saw that a couple of months ago in Italy. I love the way he did it. So this section is when he was living in Italy. And that one is the Basilica of Constantine. And that is the Amalfi Coast, which I didn't make it to. I went to Capri instead. This one is called Farmhouse Ravello. I'd live on a farm if that were my farmhouse. Look at this picture of MC Escher with that lion. You see that up there? Now, here's the art he did of the lion. So this is kind of what he was known for, was, like I mentioned outside, tricking you into thinking either you are looking at a vase or you are looking at someone's profile. Vase or profile. And here, he starts listening to Bach. And here, MC Escher's personal Parlophone copies of Bach. Now this room is all his tessellations. And the tessellations are kind of what I was mentioning about outside. This is a really good example. Everywhere you look, there's an animal. You see that? Everywhere you look. They fill in all the gaps. They are the gaps, except for that guitar. And then how nuts is this? He started doing them in a spiral pattern, which seems like it would be way, way harder. And still, all of it would cut. All of it would cut, isn't that amazing? Now in the 40s, he got really into reflection, literally. He started doing reflections in eyeballs and crystal balls, glass mirrored balls. And of course, when he did those, they ended up becoming self-portraits as well. And then this stuff was just out of this world to me. I don't know how your brain thinks up things like that. Especially in the time period in which he was doing it. A true great art mind. Now this one's great because it's called Puddle. And you can see the footprints in the mud. You can see the reflection of the trees. God, I love that. And this one's called Three Worlds because you can see the land and then the reflection in the water and then you can see the fish. Three Worlds. And then they have this mirrored wall here of mirrored balls that you can just, you know, basically see how you would have done it or take your own picture in front of it. In my case, it would just be a camera lens. That one's called Sky and Water. That's amazing. And they have a mirrored room you can go into in here. You know I gotta do that. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. For 11 euros, this is certainly a big exhibit and totally worth the money for me. 
and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And then they have a slanted checkerboard for effect. So check this out. If you look at this right down here, he's actually got a working drawing of it with some of his mathematic calculations up here in the corner so he can create all the illusion. Look at that. Isn't that great? Where all the doors and everything would have been. So check this out. You put your feet here. And then look in here, and you can see me and my camera moving around in the corner. And then occasionally the artwork falls away. See, you see me right over here. The artwork will fall away, and I'll fall away with it. And then it'll put me into something else based on the camera that's behind me, you see? Now I'm in that window right here. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so cool. Way too cool. And there I am filming myself again. Now I didn't expect to see this, but this is pretty cool. They have a copy of Umagoma by Pink Floyd. And the reason that is is because look at the cover. You see how every time you see one of those pieces of art that up in the corner, it just keeps going in and in and in and in, like just through a wormhole. Yep. That would have been thanks to you, MC Escher. Now here they talk about all the uses of Escher mania there have been. Like I just showed you the Pink Floyd Amagama where they just had the infinity cover, but it also says that people like Adrian McQueen and Chanel have used the techniques as well as, you know, multiple bands and musicians, singers, and various people have used those effects on their stage shows. And here's a full example. You've got uh, Ian Hunter doing that technique we just saw a little bit ago. Bauhaus is even called their Stairway to Escher. Uh, Mata Hoople. The Youngbloods. Here they're even showing the Simpsons doing MC Escher. And here's another photo op. And here they're showing a scene from Labyrinth where they use MC Escher. That was so cool, so worth it, so, so worth it.